Okay, another music review from 1989. I'll soon be finished. Uh, this one is at number four in my top 20, and it's David Byrne's first solo album, Rio Momo. It transports us on a journey to Southern and Latin America as he puts his own stamp on the musical styles in the region. So the journey begins with Independence Day, Cumbia dance music from African communities in Colombia and Ecuador. Its rhythm is genteel and Burns singing sets a very high standard for the album. The violins up the tempo subtly. Next, Make Believe Mambo is Cuban and the pace quickens with the brass putting you in a Havana dance hall. The distinctive piano rhythm plus the relaxed vocals make this so listener friendly. It really hots up towards the end with the congas and trumpets standing out. On to track three. This is Merangue. It's fast and the accordion maintains that skippy rhythm. The harmonies are strong. It's called the call of the wild. I particularly like the next track, Dirty Old Town, which has Puerto Rican origins called Mapape. A lazy rhythm starts us off with soft trumpet mixing tempo with solo. Up next is the Rose Tattoo and there's a strong hint of African influence. The bomba originates from Mozambique. The harmonies hit you with their beauty and synchronicity in contrast to the frantic percussion. Loca de Amor is next and it's salsa with a touch of reggae and it's sang by salsa queen Celia Cruz with Byrne acting his touches. It's just wonderful. Following that is the dream please and we start to cha cha cha. The strings are as the title states dreamy. Samba is on the menu next with the political don't want to be part of this world. It's Burns dig at the corporate greed. Repeating myself it's great music for dancing. Next is Marching Through the Wilderness. It's Charanga, Cuban Brazilian ballroom dance and you can feel the urge to get up and start swinging those hips. Trumpets excel. Burns' tenth offering is a taste of the rumba, Cuban style. It's more low key than other tracks. Next, Lie to Me is another Maranga track and this really motors along at a brisk rate with trumpets spitting out at you at regular intervals. Burns' frantic vocals portray his view of the world. I'm a chicken without a head, he sings. Office Cowboy follows and takes us to Brazilian country folk. A light look at male egos. It's got a Hawaiian feel, courtesy of the pedal steel guitar, with the trombone combining well with the harmony vocals. And so to the Barrero, women versus men. The brass section is precise and melodic, and there's a touch of flute. It's classy, and one of the album's highlights. Burns' vocals lays out the battle between the sexes. The penultimate track is Carnival Eyes. The strings are prominent, and it's another little gem. Now fully exhausted and content, the closer, I know sometimes a man is wrong, starts with the sounds of insects, frogs and birds, and they are meshed with a harmonium as Byrne lays out his lyrical ma message. We lapse into a slumber. To summarise, if you're a fan of Latin influence, influence mu music and love to dance, this album is a must for you. 
it will feel like you're arriving in paradise. Every time I listen to Rio Monmo, I feel happy. What more can you ask for? It's number four in my top 20 for 1989. Seek it out.